Aaron, you'd continued to preach this this early part of the season that when Stanton gets going, he's a big time impact bat. Just that third inning at bat, what was it like in the dugout when you when you see him connect? Yeah, it was a jolt. You know, one of those you know right away, and um, I know I reacted to it. Um, just a really good at bat. Um, obviously, an inning that we built, and, and guys just had really good at bats in front of them to to set that situation up and got a pitch that he didn't miss and, and turned out to be the blow of the day but you know G's been he's been in the in the at bats you know all year is kind of what I've been seeing just not getting the results yet having some swing and miss in there but um you know obviously the last couple of days good to get some results and and big time blow today contributions up and down the order just that inning in particular single by Soto two walks and then that big home run overall what did you think about the plate discipline yet again today yeah it was really good I mean made Francis really work there um you know had a couple good innings against us and I, I think he threw around 40 pitches in that inning um but they just you know, made it really tough. And again, you're not always going to get the hit. It's not always going to end how you want, but you give yourself those opportunities. You got a real chance. Four and a third for Luis Hill. What did you say to him after that second inning? Obviously, there was a little kind of almost back and forth with Angel Hernandez. Yeah, you know, honestly, I thought he was missing a little bit. And, um, you know, I felt like that that got the best of him a little bit out there emotionally. And I just, you know, wanted him to just focus on execution. Like, don't get caught up in that. You can't get, um, um, you know, reactive or emotional that a call doesn't go your way. It's about executing. And I thought he did a really good job after that tough inning of kind of settling in and getting back in the strike zone a little bit and attacking better. So um, good learning moment. He settled in and, you know, obviously want him to get a little bit deeper, but, um, you know, gave us – one run baseball into the fifth inning and and set us up today so um but just making sure you're under control when things aren't necessarily going your way in the moment on your left gary when you say stanton or anybody for that matter is you know right there in the at bats what are you basing that on exactly just while well, i'm watching the game is it his swing is it pitch recognition yeah i mean you're you know you know when a guy's a little bit lost and he's not seeing the ball right or, or leaving the zone a ton um, off balance? That hasn't been the case with G. Uh, Gary, can you pass it back to Dave? Aaron Stanton has been so serious coming into this year about how this had to be a, like a turnaround year for him. You know, he hits that home run today. He, he's used to hitting long home runs. Today he really kind of savored that one, it seemed, and gave a little bat flip. Do you think it was good for him just to have one to kind of enjoy? Big spot, obviously, with the Grand Slam, too. Yeah, um, but G's always pretty serious. And and I think that's a moment there where, you know, obviously an inning is building and, and you know, you realize when you hit that one, you hit a four ball there. You know, like that's, you know, a major blow in the game. And when it's no doubter, um, you know, G's going to give you that little bit of, emotion after it um like he does on occasion so it was just fun to watch him get into one as that innings building you could feel that on the bench brian on your right three hits and a couple steals for volpe what are you seeing from him right now just great at bats you know again even the ones that don't end in in a result for him um you know he's just doing such a better job of laying off pitches um he's got so much versatility in the zone uh, he's using the entire field. Um, just fun to watch him go up there and put at bats together. It's competitive all the time now, which is exciting. On your left, Brendan. You guys are eight and two to start the year. I mean, just well, what do you pull from th this uh, ten game start? What's the, your biggest takeaway? Uh, early, um, and you, we, we've been able to win games in different ways. Um, Again, like in a lot of ways, I don't even feel like we're totally clicking offensively yet. Yet, we're doing what we need to do. We're we're seemingly making a big play when we had to. Um, we've gotten enough starting pitching. The bullpens have been really good. So, you know, it's been a little bit different. Um, and obviously, you know, three really good opponents. Um, but we're ten games into the marathon. Like it's. Um, you know, again, I'd say that to you if we were off to a tough start. Like, it's it's great to rack them, rack them up. Like, they all count. So, um, but it's been good that, 
you know, I feel like every guy in there has contributed. And uh, and especially early, that's what you need. You need you need guys to – you can't lean on the same guys every night. So we found a lot of different ways to win games so far in this first 10 days. And speaking of leaning on guys, are you going to have to lean a little extra on Nestor tomorrow considering – uh, just how much your bullpen's been used these last couple days? Um, we'll see. Um, you know, I, I really wanted to stay away from Santana, actually, and he goes out and gives us just a gutsy to be able to finish that game, give us four big outs there. Because I was trying to stay away from him, possibly, possibly even Hamilton today. Um, so that was big on him to finish that game there for us. Uh, we'll see. Um, you know, we should we should be... We should be okay. I mean, yeah, we we need some length, but you know, just hopefully, just goes and pitches well and sets us up again. On your right, Greg. What was the uh, explanation you got on Glaber's strikeout in the first inning? That he got back on and um, and had time and and completed his move. Um, you know, definitely one of those that I want to look into and get the exact explanation of what what is allowed there. You know, he didn't never broke his hands, which you know, my understanding is when you get off the mound, you got to at least break your hands. So it, it seemed like uh, I don't know, it might have been very much within the rules, um, but it sure felt a little little odd. Joel. stole a lot of bases last year, but I just wonder if you see a, almost an overall refinement in his game. Like, he almost feels veteran out there, even in his in year two. Yeah. Um, I would agree with that. I think that's the kind of player he is. You know, when, when he was coming up through our system, we envisioned him as kind of one of those core leader. He, he's got that kind of DNA to him, and he's got that kind of baseball savvy to him. And and being in the middle of the diamond and playing kind of the all around game that he plays, you know, made a huge defensive play for us tonight again. Um, yeah, I mean, he's he's starting to look like that complete, well rounded, really good player. And uh, I do think he has that. Um, just because I think the respect he carries in the room from from the veteran guys about the way he goes about his business, um, and his kind of passion for all the all that goes into being a well-rounded player on the margins that he pours into, um, lend itself to him being, you know, able to move the needle like he has to this point. On your left, Max. Just one more on Glaber. He continues to see so many pitches to start the year. And what kind of boost has he provided from the leadoff spot? Yeah, um, I feel like he's putting together really good at bats, which has been really, really encouraging. Um, you know, he hasn't got a ton of results yet either, but I do feel like the at bat quality's been there. And uh, you know, it all matters. It all adds up. And uh, you know, those it's those kind of things, along with others, that on a day we haven't broken through totally you know, has given us a chance, you know, at some point in the middle innings or later in the game because we, we've made we've made it difficult.